guys, what's going on and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a product review of the Autovox X1 platform. This is their newest, their biggest, their baddest rear view mirror system. And I'm gonna tell you guys my honest thoughts and opinions of this. Let's go ahead, talk about what comes inside the box and then talk about the definition of missed opportunities. But let's talk about what comes inside the Autovox X1 camera system. First and foremost, there is this box that is very, very colorful. And then down here in the right hand corner, there is what appears to be a Google Chrome logo. This is where I got really, really excited for no particular reason, because it turns out you cannot stream from your phone to here, despite the fact that it says stream media mirror dash cam. So that is an immediate no, no in my book of advertisements. Don't go and do things like that because that's just going to upset me in the long run. But what they're trying to tell you is stream media is not streaming media. It's instead displaying fully on the entire screen. Now that we have the biggest thing that teed me off about this out of the way, let's go ahead and unbox it. When you open it up, you're greeted with the one year warranty from Autovox. You have an instruction manual which already has an issue on a particular page when it comes in terms of wiring right here where it talks about wiring at a glance for the rear camera there is no ground there is actually only one that goes to a 12 volt signal and what that means is the camera is wired in to the screen and has power as long as the screen has power so as long as your screen is hooked up to a cigarette lighter, it will have power. The red signal wire only trips the screen into reverse mode. So when you put your car into reverse, it'll automatically throw it into the rear screen. So yes, this does record in reverse while you're driving. So it offers a front and rear dash cam. Now, here is the actual screen itself which is really, really pretty and really, really gorgeous in all of its ways. It has nice plastic here on the sides and a full all the way across display. There is nowhere on this that it will not be projecting the display. Now, this is a mount system, which means it will have to go over another screen or another uh, rear view mirror. But as you guys can see here, when you guys start tacking it onto something, you will have a lot of wires coming off of it. This is your rear view camera, the GPS, and the power going to here. So you have a lot of issues that are gonna start happening. It does have the ability to extend out the dash cam, so that way you guys can see past your rear view mirror, which is great, so that way you don't have to have three different electronics up there on the windshield. Now it does have a built-in speaker system here and a microphone to record audio. Once we get past that, we are greeted with more squishy foam and cardboard. Behind the cardboard, you'll actually have the guts of the entire system. This is where we get into the wiring. This is the rear view camera for the car and as you guys can see here the rear view camera is absolutely gorgeous this is actually probably the one product i loved about this whole thing don't get me wrong i love the screen but this particular camera i love even more this camera is solid and the lens in there actually moves up and down depending on how you move your finger here if you move up the screen will look up if you move down the screen will look down so I absolutely love this camera. I do wish that they made this camera for an RCA output, but as you guys can see here, it's a camera that goes to the five pin connector that goes to a micro USB, which goes to that spot right there, AV on the mirror. Now, as you guys can see here, I was not incorrect, it only provides you with one wire, and that is this red one for reverse trigger line. Now, once you guys get past that, the next thing you'll be greeted with is the GPS, which is pretty universal. This is standard GPS that uses the RCA connection that will go up there 
and then you guys can position this wherever you like. And of course there is the power. Unfortunately, the power does not come with an additional ability to plug in stuff, so this will eat up your entire cigarette lighter. And lastly, within the box, there is these particular brackets that are 50% more stretchable for thick mirrors. Well, what does it mean when it says thick mirrors? This is what it means. Big old mirrors that you guys typically find on German cars, such as Mercedes, this is a Mini Cooper one, and then BMW. Um, honestly, if you guys have any one of those cars, I would not particularly recommend this for that install. As I have found out with just the sheer number of wires that are coming off of the top of this, that this is more suited for American style vehicles or Hondas or Accords. Uh, the vehicles that have the standard flat, the chintzy looking rear view mirrors. This would be a perfect add-on for those vehicles because all of these wires are going to consume a lot of space in this area which will pre prevent you from tilting it up and down. Let's go ahead, get this thing installed inside the car so you guys can see what are the functions that it has and you guys can see the quality of the video that is coming off of it. Now this is simply just for testing purposes. I'm not going to install this professionally on my vehicle. But as you guys can see here, there are a lot of wires that come into play when you guys are putting this on your own car. There's three wires and you have to fiddle around with all of them to get them to fit over the mirror. And then grab the expandable bracket and then just clip it on on both sides and then it will hold it nice and tight to the mirror. Now this all seems hunky dory till you realize that in a German vehicle the L bracket causes a problem and it forces the mirror to look down. I can't adjust it up anymore because there's all of these wires. Now of course in a professional install you'd have to professionally install the GPS and then hide the cigarette lighter through the A pillar all the way down to a socket or you guys could get a micro USB hardwire kit to micro USB and then the whole kit would work. Let's go ahead and turn it on and the system comes on beautifully. The dash cam is recording in full 1080p and if you guys toggle to the rear camera it is recording in 720. So yes you guys can toggle between the two at will. The date and time is automatically obtained from the GPS so that's very nice. Now you can make the adjustments here and you guys can move the screen up and down for the dash cam. Let's go ahead and take this out for a ride and see how does it function. So as you guys can see here, just by pressing the button in the middle, you guys can make everything go away and just have a solid rear view mirror. But if you guys press the button, it will show your GPS and the lane departure warning and the time, which is pretty nice if your car doesn't have any of this, which it should. Now if you guys press the center button, it will enable the front camera but then if you guys press this button over here it will switch to the rear camera which is very nice if you're driving a truck or a van that is full of items that prohibits you from seeing out the back of the car so that is a very very nice feature now, as you guys can see here i do have the rear view camera on and i have my car in reverse and the quality of the X1 rear camera is amazing. It is very, very nice, and I do wish that this was a standard option that I could just purchase alone. But unfortunately, I can't as of now. So let's go ahead and see just the, how well is this quality from the footage that it is recording. But before we do that, let me just show you one really, really cool feature. Just by sliding your finger up and down, you guys can position the rear camera at your liking how high you want it and how bright do you want it to record that is awesome the ability to adjust your camera without using any wedges or without using any aftermarket accessories you can also do the same to your dash cam you can position it up and down how you would choose which is really really nice now let's go ahead and talk about that lane departure warning system so this is some nighttime driving and I'm going to show you that the lane departure warning system works even at night. As I begin to move the vehicle over towards the right, it will start to make a beep 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 sound as I begin to cross the lanes. Yes, the system works beautifully. Now as you can see from this, this is the daytime recording of the dash cam footage. It is crystal clear and 
it displays the image perfectly, but there is one big problem, and you guys can probably tell what it is. It is my rear view mirror, which is located way off to the right. Thanks to having a German vehicle, it is so large that it is actually in the focus shot of the X1. So I would probably safely say do not install this product if you own a German vehicle or if you have a mirror that is excessively large. I would keep this product strictly to the American made market and to those of us that are driving the thin rear view mirrors like the Hondas or the Accords, all those uh, little chintzy mirrors. And this is an example of the nighttime recording and as you guys can see here it is crystal clear and everything is clearly visible including that McDonald's that I should have stopped at and got a double cheeseburger. I don't know why this keeps happening to me but I really need to find those double cheeseburgers. So now let's go ahead and rate the product. First in terms of styles, look and appearance, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6 primarily because it does look fabulous. But when you have all these wires on there, it looks horrible. I feel like they should have somehow shortened this thing down to just one wire. So that is the reason why I'm giving it a 6. Durability. The mirror itself is pretty much durable. I mean, I don't anticipate a 2x4 whacking it from the inside of the car. But the camera on the outside is absolutely gorgeous. It is a beautiful camera that I truly wish that they sell it independently. So because of this, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Features. What can it do? Any tricks? Any neat stuff? Well, in terms of features, I'm going to give it a 6. Now, you guys are probably going to get angry at me as to why I gave it a 6. But when you put a Google Chrome logo on the box and you put stream media written on the box and I'm unable to stream my phone to it I'm gonna dock some points because that's that's just not cool guys I mean come on now user-friendly is it user-friendly absolutely all Autovox products are user-friendly I haven't had an issue installing any of them but like I said having all those wires can make it somewhat not so friendly especially in terms of hiding them discreetly. So I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10. Price. Now this is where it gets kind of tricky. The price of the X1 camera system is currently about $250. That does make it one of the more expensive products from AutoVox. And do I feel that you guys are getting all that and the bag of chips? And not so much. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6. I kind of feel that the system is a little bit overvalued right now at the current price. And at the same time, I am seeing my AutoVox sponsorship go out the window at the end of this review. Now this leaves us with an overall score of 34 out of 50. It is down there as one of the lower end scores that I have given. Primarily just because of the minor issues of having too many wires and the false advertising on the box. I feel that if they would have fixed the wiring issue, the advertising on the box, and the price would have been slightly lower, this would have been a dead set awesome price point and product. So there you guys have it. That is my official product review of the X1 by AutoVox. I feel that there is just way too many plugs for this to be appealing. Yes, it does functions. It functions beautifully. It functions perfectly. And if you guys are looking for something that's really, really easy to install, this is going to be up there on the list in the top five. But if you guys are wanting something that is more professional and something that is doesn't have so many wires cluttering up and clogs up that whole area. I, I, I would probably recommend look for something else even though this does have a gorgeous display it has a beautiful backup camera that backup camera alone is worth its weight in gold but it's just not not my cup of tea guys so I'm going to be giving away my AutoVox X1 camera system and to win this system there's just three simple things you guys have to do number one subscribe to the channel number two give the video a thumbs up and then number three let me know what is the worst car you have ever purchased before. Tell me why was it so bad. Whoever has the worst possible story by July 
first is going to win the X1 camera system. Keep in mind this system is valued at $286, so that is a nice little giveaway for whoever chooses to win this thing. Um, I'm gonna decide it on multiple things. Number one, if I think it's hilarious, it's gonna get a vote. And if your comment down below has a lot of thumbs up, then obviously everybody else likes it. So go ahead, let me know how bad was your car purchased. In the meantime, that is going to be it for today, guys. I look forward to seeing you next time where hopefully there will no longer be any more rainy weather down here and I can actually start taking apart the inside of this car and finishing this project once and for all.